Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to long-range weather forecast discussion for October 17th to 31st. For October 17th to 21st, that's what we're forecasting here. Uh, we originally start here with this trough here in the east, ridging in the west, but then this trough here moves into the west, pushes this ridge eastward, and displacing uh, this trough here in the east that causes it to lift out. We'll go through the period this 17th to 21st. You see what we have here. We have a trough here, almost split flow above normal heights here. Now, the, um, the um, eastern trough, the uh, western trough and reinforcing energy will lead to cool and wet uh, conditions along with higher elevation snow. We'll take a look here. Uh, we'll look at the GFS because it shows it better. See, like periods of heavy snow across the northern Rockies. Okay, so there we have there. And um, rain was spread into the southern plains, central and southern plains by the weekend. You see it here, okay. And the region was slide into east causing temperatures warm, bringing above normal temperatures to much of the plains to the east coast. Okay, we're going to look at the period now for um, October 22nd to 26th. And we still have, whoops, didn't want that to happen. We still have our um, trough here in the west, ridging in the east. So uh, for this forecast period, I'm calling for, let's see if it'll change. Okay, there we go. Below normal temperatures here. Calling for anomalies being near 2 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here. With the anomalies of 2 to 6 degrees above normal, highest anomalies here. And for rainfall, calling for above normal precipitation for this region here. Probability of occurrence is near 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation of much of this region here. Probability of occurrence is 45%. Okay, going towards the end of the month. This is for the period October 27th to the 31st. And the flow is somewhat flatter compared to the previous period. Zonal flow with above normal heights. Still some troughing here lingering in the east. Uh, in the west, I'm sorry. In the west. And uh, we'll look at some of the models here, and we'll look at the, um, oh, I don't have it here. Let me see if I can get it. We're going to look at the um, European AI model, and we can get that to load. And I can show you what... Um, the, this has more of a zona flow compared to the rest of the models. So um, we'll get to that whenever it decides to low. Okay, let's see. Um, almost. Any day now. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, I don't want this map, I want this one. <sighs> I really don't like it, this is so slow. This is a European AI. <sighs> okay, but the European, we're going to forget about it. Um, the European um, AI has more of a zona flow um, resembling something like this. All right, so uh, for this forecast period, I am calling for little change in temperature anomalous from the previous period and for rainfall calling for above normal precipitation here and for this region here probability of occurrence in your 35 percent and remaining dry below normal precipitation for this region probability of occurrence in your 35 percent 
Okay, next on the agenda. Um, okay, we're watching an area of disturbed weather it has gone up since this morning. Has um, 10% chance of developing in the next 48 hours and a 60% chance of developing in the next 48 hours. And um, it was 50% this morning, so it's up now 10%. And we'll take a look at the seven day uh, forecast here. This doesn't look good for this area here, anywhere from on the Leeward Islands to Florida. I hate to say that. And then again, we're waiting for something else to develop here. It has a low probability, but um, this will likely develop somewhat uh, later this week. We'll see how that goes now, but right now it only has a 20% chance of development over the next seven days. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is the fall foliage map. Okay, and we're going to take a look at that. And we're going to look at this across the nation here. Okay, um, these colors here, like already past peak here, and in parts of the Middle Atlantic, coastal Middle Atlantic, moderate color, I would say, and then the yellow is low color across this area here. Across uh, much of the Rockies is like past peak here, and um, some of it like high peak, you know, so far it varies. But um, this is where we had the best color. So if you want to take a trip, if you like that kind of thing, travel up to um, to New England, or if you can, go somewhere out west. Especially people um, that live in the west don't have to go very far for that. Okay, that's it for now. That's the long-range weather forecast discussion for October 17th and 31st. Thanks for coming to Jim Unley's World of Weather, and have a good day.